What is up everyone? True McFly back with a pickup video. Um, some more uh, Facebook Marketplace finds. Uh, quite a few. Um, they just keep coming. So I'm happy about that. So first, let me show you. Um, I picked this up at the family, my local family video. They're selling a bunch of their um, PS3 games off. And I bought some a couple videos back. If you guys watched, uh, I found three more that I wanted. And the first one was Deadpool. And unfortunately, none of these came with the manual. Um, some of them did last time, but none of these. Did. Wait, I think Deadpool did. Yep, Deadpool was complete. Uh, these were three for 21. Um, a copy of Bayonetta on the PS3. Now, I heard this was a very uh, glitchy uh, version of it. I have it on a, a 360, but I needed it for the PS3, and I picked it up for seven bucks and I go turn it down and another one is <laughs> I really like these games I know they're just I don't know let me just show you what it is first it's Beijing 2008 and um, th these games are not easy to find uh, the London Olympics is not easy I have that one loose uh, with a generic GameStop uh, case but for some reason I, <laughs> I love Olympic games I think it goes back to the original track and field um, on the NES was boy did I blistered my fingers before I learned about the little pencil you could do back and forth but man my knuckles I used to do my knuckles and uh, they they I'm surprised I don't have permanent scars from that game but um, basically let's see I didn't really look um, online multiplayer competitions I don't guess that's probably not working anymore uh, it doesn't say how many um, Events there are. There's one to eight players, one to four players, one to eight online. So, yeah, I look forward to trying that out. I'm a little faded from sitting in a store that long, but that's okay. And all these people are probably dead now. It's 2008. If you're an Olympian, you're 2008, you're dead from all the steroids. It's gone. Then the last thing I picked out, I don't even know why I grabbed this to show, but I went ahead and got the Star Wars Last Jedi Blu ray. Um, I always buy my Star Wars games or videos uh, at my family video once they go up for sale and they go down in price a little bit. Um, I almost missed out though. Uh, this was the last copy they had and it was a while before it was in that store and they were, almost had sold out of all their uh, available copies to sell so I barely got it but now I have it. Um, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about this movie? Um, I, I kind of liked it better than the last one, but then so, uh, I was talking with someone the other day about it, um, and he pointed out some things, and I got to thinking, I was like, yeah, maybe maybe this one ain't very good. So, uh, I'm going to have to think about that. Also, just um, a little, not a contest, but just if you put a comment on this video, I have a and when I bought my Xbox One, there was a Battlefield 1 code. I'm pretty sure that it hasn't been redeemed because the online pass in there hasn't been redeemed or anything. So if you just make a comment on the video, I'll do a random drawing and someone can get that code for the Xbox One on Battlefield 1. I already have it on the PS4 and that's where I prefer to play most of my games. Um, but if you watch my last video, I just got an Xbox One. And basically just for the exclusive. So if you want a copy of Battlefield 1 on the Xbox uh, One, uh, just comment on this video and I'll pick a winner. And whoever wins gets the code. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, then again, I have to make sure it's not been uh, um, used. But I'm pretty sure it has it. So, all right, moving on. Uh... Facebook Marketplace deal. Nope, this was not. This was GameStop. Uh, of course, I had an Xbox One, so I had to go buy some games, much to my wife's chagrin. Right, babe? Right. Yeah, she's in there. She's listening to me do my video. But I have to have some games to go with it. But uh, So I went in. I actually went in. I had a $5 uh, off coupon for GameStop. Jesus, Christmas. And uh, I always wanted this game. There's a launch title, and it was Rise, Son of Rome. And 
there just wasn't never quite enough games to make me want to pull the trigger on the Xbox One until I found it for that ridiculously low price, and I just said okay. But this is the one game I did want to try out. Um, uh, this looks bad, badass. So, and then I got to talking to the, and then I, while I was there, I picked up a. Uh, it was right next to it. It was Sunset Overdrive. It was only six bucks. Um, the Rise was seven ninety nine with my actually is lower than that with my power up rewards and I had a five dollar off coupon and so this was a six ninety eight uh, was I think with my power up coupon so I went ahead and uh, or membership picked that up and it was right next to it and then I got to talk to the GameStop people uh, there's one guy there that I've followed, kind of followed around he, he worked at a couple of few of the GameStops so we've become pretty chatty over the years uh, and I was telling him about, you know, how I just got it for the um, exclusive titles. And I said, yeah, I just want, like, Killer Instinct, Rare Replay. And he goes, we got uh, Rare Replay. And I said, oh, yeah, well, it's 14 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I don't want to tick my wife off too much. And he goes, no, 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 it's it's 7 bucks. I said, no, I looked on your site. It said fourteen ninety nine. He goes, uh, we have a combo that's on, on sale. It's like seven ninety nine. I was like, okay. So he went back there. And I pulled this back. It was Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition. I think it's a remake of the first one. And the Rare Replay um, combo pack. So that works for me. Uh, I might still in the future pick up the sing singular Rare Replay. But now I'm in no rush. So that was cool. It's good to know your GameStop people. I know a lot of people don't like them as far as the company. Um, but some of the people are cool once you set the boundaries. And you get to know some of them. Where's my coffee at? There it is. Hold on. Once you set the boundaries, you know, they're just there doing a job and they're just doing what, you know, the court, their management wants them to do. Uh, but if you set the boundaries, they'll leave you alone. They'll, they'll go prey on the grannies and the soccer moms and uh, leave you alone. Um, and if they don't, then they learn real quick. <laughs> From me, I show, show them my butt. And my wife calls them when I get, get upset or whatever, show them my butt. Because I'm not afraid to let put someone in our place. So anyway, uh, now we're on the Facebook Marketplace deals. Uh, this uh, this guy had both these games. They were forty dollars. I I thought they were fifteen a piece. Uh, one was twenty five and one was fifteen. Uh, but I went ahead and did it because I had to pull out forty anyway. And that is the first one is Forza Horizon Three. And I pulled up this dude's this way in the country. I got to way in the country. He says, um, I had to go to his house because he was on babysitting duty or whatever. His wife was working. And he said, uh, the driveway, there's a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee. And uh, I said, okay. So I went out there. And this dude came out with no shirt, uh, no teeth, um, no, looked like no future. I hate to degrade the dude, but I mean, I'm glad I supported your meth habit for one day. I mean, that's all I can say. It dude looked straight up like he was a meth head. And um, hope he gets his life straightened around, but in the meantime, thank you for the games there, methy. So, anyway, the next one's Forza 7. He said he only played this a couple times, and uh, um, so I was glad to pick those up. I, I've always liked the Forza series. I, I've never played a Forza Horizons game. Um, I, it looks it looks awesome. So it's more more arcadey. It's more simulation. I uh, I enjoyed Forza Four a lot on the 360. And is that Patrick Stewart that's the narrator on that? Yeah, I hope he's here too because it's cool. All right, the next thing I picked up is uh, for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I got a Wii. Usually that's a little more than I would normally spend. Um, but it came with some games. And it came with a bonus. I was just going through it. And it came with something I did never had or didn't know. Uh, I know they existed, but I never had them before. And that was it came with a copy of Wii Sports Resort. But it also came with the Motion Plus controllers. And one of the super long the Magnum style condoms for you big boys out there. Yep. 
Uh, basically, I, you apparently need this for this game. Um, and I got two of them here. I only got one of the Super Magnum rubbers. Where's the other one go? Oh. And I got a blue one here on the uh, motion. And they go on the end here. I'm sure you all know. I didn't know because Wii was never my favorite console. So, really not sure what it does. And I'm not going to try it out. I'm just selling it. So, let me know what it does. But apparently, these, these go for a little bit. So, I'm glad to have it back. It came with a white controller, a black controller, equal opportunity controllers, um, and a Intech generic controller here. Um, they all seem to work. Also came with all the hookups. One regular condom for us normal guys. And a white nunchuck and a black nunchuck. But it also came with uh, Wii Sports. It's always good for seven, eight bucks there. Um, let's see, the Raymond 1 and 2, Rabbit and Rabbids or whatever. These uh, apparently must suck. I had them before, but I never played them when I had my Wii um, because they were so cheap to pick up. Um, if anyone has any experience with these let me know if they're any good um, I didn't even check them if they're complete uh, yeah complete and complete uh, copy of game party 2 game party 2 and that one's complete and mainly the reason I picked it up for that is just to flip these uh, Super Mario Brother Wii Complete. It's still got the Club Nintendo points in there in the manual. Uh, looks like it's never been taken out, so I imagine they're still. Well, they closed the program down, but I imagine that was still a valid code. Uh, copy of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Complete in very nice shape. Manual's minty fresh. Minty fresh. And a copy of Mario Super Sluggers. Also complete in very nice shape. So that was 50 bucks. Um, not not a world beater, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And the last one, last night I was getting ready for bed. Well, I was sort of getting ready for bed. It was getting late. And I just hopped on to the Facebook market, refreshed it, and a bunch of N64 games popped up. I was like, oh. And she wanted $10 a piece for it. There's, there's probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 15 uh, in 64 games and I asked her would you work out a deal if uh, I bought them all and she goes heck they're only 10 bucks I looked up some of the prices and they're worth more than that it's like oh crap so you're gonna have the and she, she goes so I'm not gonna work a deal out um, just pick what you want and they're all ten dollars I said oh okay so basically poor lady she's gonna be sitting on those other ones because there was a Rugrats in there um, Extreme G uh, what else was in there? Oh, War Gods. Nothing of consequence. Um, but I went ahead and uh, basically picked everything good. <laughs> and the one I just, uh, there's really only five games that were worth uh, more than ten that I uh, wanted to get. But I had to go to the bank machine again. So I just had her throw this one in to make it an even 60. Because you can't, you only take multiples of 20. And that was Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Now this is one of the N64 games. I'm not an N64 fan, never have been. I hate the controller. Um, I hated the, the fogging. I thought it was a terrible system as far as that goes. Uh, I was older when it came out. So I know a lot of people um, grew up with that system, so they have a nostalgic love for it that I will never have. So it's my least favorite system. And it was the first one to go in my collection when I when I liquidated a lot of it. Uh, but now I have all N64 games on emulated, so I can play them if I want. But I this I, I a roundabout way of saying I love this game. Um, this was a, one of the good ones. Um, a copy of Pokemon Stadium Two. Never played any of the Pokemon Stadiums. I had the first Pokemon Stadium when I was collecting before. Um, Road Rush 64, a uh, few of you that know uh, and watch my uh, favorite Genesis games of all time, uh, 
video about four or five years ago. If there's anyone still around that remembers that, uh, Road Rash 3 was my favorite Genesis game. I used to love the crap out of that thing. Um, this did not fare as much. Um, when I originally got an N64, I went and got this game first, and I was so disappointed. It's just the system. We moved into the digital, and Nintendo tried to hold on too long, I think. Um, but like I said, there's so much love out there for it because it was your system growing up, and I understand. I mean, this is my preference, and I know a lot of people love uh, the 64. I'm just not one of them. So, But they're good for trading. They're good for selling. <laughs> so three more here. I picked up, uh, let's see... Zelda Ocarina of Time, never played it. Now Zelda Link to the Past was one of my favorite games of all time. So I, maybe I should have tried these. Um, the Legend of Zelda and Majora's Max, the gold variant, which I think is the more common variant, it seems to be. And the last one was Gauntlet of Legends. Now this game I had, I played, it didn't fare as well on here, but I uh, have it on the Dreamcast and I love it. So. Um, it's a good game. But anyway, that's it. Thank you all for watching my pickup video. Again, uh, leave a comment down there. I will see if I can check um, to see if that code's valid. Um, and then I might just have to put a thing, an amendment in the comments section saying, um, sorry, I was wrong about the code. It's been used, but I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.